favorite female superhero. That's amazing. Thank you. Um, I'm really excited that you have a real cry because the other one did me that really upset me. <laughs> but I want to say that I'm not a very big fan of change. And in the comics and other cartoons, Arrow and Black Canary were a thing. So if you could choose, would you ship? Uh, Oliver and Felicity or Daryl Ooh. <laughs> Tread carefully. <laughs> um, in all honesty, uh, Dinah's not right for that right now. Like, that's just not on the cards, and, and Oliver and Felicity have, have it going on. So I'm not going to mess with that at the moment, you know? Here's my answer. <laughs> I'm not gonna mess with that or touch it anymore. <laughs> Over here. Hey, my name is Valentine. First, I want to say you guys need your own spin-off show called Two Badasses. We agree. <laughs> I like that. Let's do that. But my question is actually for Rick. Now that you got to the CW, one of my other favorite roles is yours is Reaper. Any chance for hey. you? I wish, man. I wish, man. I, that, that show is so dear to me. I loved every moment of it. I learned a lot too as an actor just being on that show. Um, and uh, we did a reunion show actually. We did a reunion special for uh, FearNet Channel. Uh, I guess it was somewhere back in 2012. And we got the band back together and we got the producers back together. And we just all sat down and just hashed out, you know, uh, you know, different episodes. And, and all the interesting people that came on our show. And, you know, that was just so much fun to just do that and just kind of go down memory lane really quick and just, I don't know, man, I just, I just think like, uh, you know, there wasn't anything on TV at that time that was doing what we did, you know, and had the same tone. And uh, to this day, I mean, I, I get people who still discover Reaper to this day, you know, and, uh, that's how I know our show was special, you know? Um, so, you know, who knows, maybe, uh, I did hear the, the showrunners uh, speak about maybe creating something of an offshoot, and uh, maybe seeing uh, Ben and Sock, and, you know, those guys show up, you know, assisting other, you know, folks who catch souls from hell. You know, so we'll see, maybe, maybe that could happen, you know? Awesome, thank you guys. Yeah, thank you. All right, over here. What's up, boss? What's up, boss? Uh, mine is more to, for both, this one's for both of you. What was it like working with both Diggle and Oliver? And the next one would be Dinah. What, but, but, what was it like you versus like Siren? Because that was the original. What was that like? Just go ahead and get Well, it was that was actually the first time that I ever met Katie was the night that we had that fight in 523, which was just so funny because it's like we, there had been all this build up, you know, like all this talk about, you know, their oh, feud and their and then the second we met each other, like we just gave each other the biggest hug and it was like the sweetest, warmest, opposite moment of what that fight was. <laughs> Um, so it actually, and I think it actually made the fight even stronger and better because once we were like, okay, we're in this together, we're good, like we're on the same team, we really like each other uh, in real life. So it, it almost is easier to play that, that like opposite. You, know, you can really, because you know you're safe, you know you're in a safe space. So I love working with Katie and I love doing those fights with her, uh, but it was very like built up. Like, you know, it, was a, it was a big moment. And then for your other question, uh, working with both Steve and David is amazing. They're two of the most professional, kind, like, talented, uh, and muscular people I've ever worked with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I echo that. I mean, you know, working with uh, just those two guys, it's just great. They just, they're such anchors for the show. You know, um, they just kind of set the right tone for, for all of us, and especially for me when I walked onto set, you know, just right away, just felt the professionalism and, and just the warmth that they brought, you know, to, to, to me 
and, um, and and I'm pretty sure to the rest of the cast, you know, it's just it's so good working with them. It's great. All right, I know our time is up, but we only got two more people in line, so let's just try and get through them real quick, and we'll go over to this side. All right, so we love seeing you guys as action heroes, but jumping back to the question, what ships do you love from the show, and or what ships would you like to see? I know we've seen a little bit taste for both of you with Ian and Lola there for a second, maybe even to that. Dinah, maybe there's a couple, you know, potential ones. What, what do you want to see? Or, you know, in an alternate universe where you control it, what would you want to see? I think Wild Dog and Thea is pretty <laughs> <cute> myself. <laughs> I, I, I mean, that's, I, I, was, I was, yeah, I was trying to ship that. I was trying to ship that. He likes it too. I was trying to get with the boss's sister. So that was, that's what my name was trying to do. Yeah. I think everybody else is already taken. Yeah. They go alternate for everybody else's name. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably. Diggle and Oliver. together? <laughs> right. Oh, that's the Oliver. The Oliver. Oliver. Uh, all right, we got one more. Do you wanna? Do you have any more that you can think of? Alternate universe. Who was Oliver you pick? Oliver. Oliver. I like Oliver too. I think that's. I think that's good too. It's great. All right, final question, right over here. Hi, uh, uh, my name's Johnny Papa Nicolopoulos, and uh, that's my real last name, no joke. Uh, so my question is for both of you. Um, so what I want to know is, like, you guys have both had great origin stories, like both of you, Wild Dog with wife and kids, and Dinah with the partner and stuff. So what do you think, like, for the future, since you had a great, like, origin story and stuff, what do you think for the future, where, where do you want your characters to go, like, on the show, in terms of, like, importance, like, where do you want it to go from there? Um, well, I think for me, uh, and I've said this before, is uh, we've established Renee being a dad, and being a family man, and what I would like to see for him is to continue to, for that to realize, for that, for that, for him, for us to see him, you know, finally become a dad and take ownership of his daughter and, and you know, just be a dad and just kind of see that juxtaposition of him being a vigilante, but also being a father, you know, and what that would look like. You know, does he make sandwiches really well before he goes out <laughs> into the world and shoots those guns? You know, um, does he take out the trash? And does he eat dishes in the sink? But then, for sure, is he, like, what, is he messy? You know, so those questions I want to see. I want to see a domesticated wild dog. Yeah, that's what I want to see. It's funny that you should say that because I feel like, to a certain extent, it's the same. I mean, I don't know if you're joking or just that part. Oh, yeah, because I sort of feel the same way about Dinah. Like, like you, you see her being this badass, and, and that is part of what I want to grow as well. I want. My vision for her, like at the end of you know whatever this journey is with China on this show, um, I want her to just be a freaking warrior by the end. Do you know what I mean? Just like grow and get stronger and stronger and better and better. Um, however, I also want to see that you know she is a dog person and she likes certain kinds of music and maybe plays an instrument and you know she the, the layers that make people people um, would just make almost like that hardcore side, more hardcore to see the soft side. So I think it would be nice to have that too. Yeah, for sure. Thank you guys so much, I love you. Thank you. We love you, too. thank you, all of you guys. Thank, thank you to your so question, much. thank you guys both so much for joining me. Thank you so much. Round of applause for Rick and Joy.